Hey guys, and welcome to my Celebrate Joy six day challenge video. Um, my prompt is Holly, and um, we'll get to the Holly part of the project a little bit later. But in this first part, I am going to share with you how to make a paper bag journal from a gift bag. Um, I think paper bag journals are really fun and it's kind of cool to use you know some of those gift bags that you really really like maybe the patterns like this one i really like the black and white christmas trees um and turn them into a journal rather than having to reuse them and gift them to somebody else um so the first thing you want to do is cut the sides of the bag um down the crease and then cut like the top of the side if that makes sense um <clears throat> Then you're gonna open it up and I removed the handles, but don't throw the handles away because um, I'm going to add them back into the journal and kind of make a cute little fun thing. So now we are going to fold one side over the bottom part of the bag and then um, fold it back on itself and then fold the other side over that fold and then fold it back on itself. Hopefully it makes sense as you watch it. It's kind of hard to describe. <laughs> so next I'm gonna fold in these little wings on the side, um, and then we will fold the whole thing in half. And this is gonna be the size of our little journal, and it is a very <laughs> little journal, but super cute. And now I'm gonna grab my sewing machine, my little mini sewing machine, and just sew along the fold we just made. So the next thing we're going to do is cut along the, the folds of the bag to make our separate pages. And then you can do a couple of things after that. I decided to fold in my flaps and kind of reinforce the pages so that way they'd be a little thicker. Liquitex matte medium and glue in those flaps like I was talking about just to reinforce the pages. Um, I'd rather do this than um, just cut them out and this kind of gives the pattern on both sides also so that there's not one just blank page on the other side. little pockets in there and I'm cutting the flap off of um, the side there because I want to add my handles back on um, to give my journal handles because I just think that's cute um, if you did not want to add the handles back on you could keep the flap on there and just glue it over so that way you had um, a little pocket to put things in that way um, but for me, I'm going to cut my handles to the size that I want and then I'm going to sew them in and just sew down that side so there's still a pocket, it's just different. Um, and then there's also some extra stitching and stuff like that.
right, well that's it. There's our little journal. So now, in the next part, we will start to decorate in it and play with our theme of holly. All right, so now we're gonna start on the spread. I have my little journal here, and I'm just adding a coat of gesso onto it. And then I also have this little tag. Um, it's one of uh, Dina Weekly Media tags. Um, it's the smallest one that you can get, and I don't know the sizes. Um, I think it's a five. Does that sound right? Um, and then I'm taking my mechanical pencil and just making some marks into the wet gesso. And then I have found this holly um, tissue paper from Tim Holtz, um, one of his holiday releases. I think it was a year or two ago, actually. Um, so I am going to add this because it's pretty fitting. I'm going to add it to my tag and then also I'll add a little bit to the journal to go in the background. And I'm just using the matte medium again. And it's thin enough so you don't have to use like a thick matte medium or anything like that. And now I'm just taking some gesso to kind of push it back into the background because the red and green is pretty bright. So I wanted to kind of tone it down a little bit. Looks like I turned it down a little too much there. So I have this holly stamp that was part of Dina Weekly's uh, Christmas Scribbly Birds set. So I am taking that and just stamping it onto my tag. So now I'm going to take this ribbon that I got from Joann's. They have a bunch of fun holiday ribbon, but not all of it, you know, has to be has to just be holiday like this is um, some red chevrons on like a natural linen background and then they also have these little stitches in red and white on that same kind of natural background that could be used at any time it doesn't have to be Christmas time so I thought those are really cute and really would be really fun to add to collages and stuff so I just bought a bunch of it and it was only like a dollar or something like that but I'm going to um, go through a few of my Christmas ephemera pieces I really don't have that much Christmas stuff um, I usually don't do themed art journal pages um, so yeah I guess I've just never really acquired a bunch of Christmas stuff but I'm gonna go through and try to figure out where I want things and and stuff like that and then I am sewing it directly onto my tag because once I take my sewing machine out well now I have to sew on everything and then I am going to take the um, scribble sticks here and just color in my little leaves and my berries just to add some pops of color to my little tag So now I'm taking some ruby paint and I intended to do the whole background in ruby but then when I started painting it I thought it was too bright so I kind of toned it down with the Sedona scribble stick and then again as I was painting it all of it I just didn't like how bright it was so I tried to take as much of it away as I could. I'm really not a fan of red so much. I just, especially for backgrounds, I don't know, I just have a hard time using it. And it was at this point that I realized I kind of just wanted my background to be more of a wash instead of, you know, a whole background. So I rubbed off as much of the paint as I could and kind of left it there. But now I also wanted to sketch a holly. I know I had, you know, all of this tissue paper that had the holly printed on it, but I wanted to do a little sketch of it too. And 
it always helps me to be able to look at something even if I can't replicate it perfectly. Um, looking at a picture of it is still really helpful. So I sketched it in a black stabilo which is water soluble. So I'm taking my uh, paintbrush and I just wet it and added some water to it to make it stand out a little bit. And I am just sketching and drawing on a piece of plain vintage paper. It's from a book, so like one of the pages at the beginning that doesn't have any writing on it. And then I just wrote the word holly and I'm gonna tear it out. I am a big fan of the teared edges. I think it's like a deckled edge is the official word. Um, so I always like that look um, for all of my little papers. And then I also remembered I had this little holiday stamp set um, floating around in my stamps that had a little holly, holly thing, border. It's a border. And so I added that. And now I'm just adding some gesso because I had originally wanted to write something, um, like song lyrics or something, on that right sign. Um, but when I did write it, I kind of hated it, so I ended up going over it later. So you wouldn't know if I hadn't told you. <laughs> and now I'm just kind of trying to build up my collage. I found these little number brackets in my stash. Um, so I am taking the number 25 and I'm going to poke it through after, of course, I take my thick matte medium and glue everything down. I could have stitched it, but I didn't want to ruin my holly drawing. of a time getting that little bracket thingy through the paper. I mean, it fought me. You can see I ended up bringing out my owl just to poke a hole through, and even then it was not so successful. But eventually I did get it through. Um, and then, then I just added some little fabric. I think it's just some cheesecloth that I coffee dyed a while ago. So I added some fabric underneath my holly drawing, and now I'm going to do a little collage on the opposite side. Um, so I took some scraps of burlap and some ribbon and some, I think it's rust dyed cloth, and I'm sewing it together into a little collage group thing. And I'm going to put it out, put some of these cute little um, Tim Holtz safety pins on there. So my Tim Holtz Holly tissue paper got buried somewhere underneath all of the layers of gesso and paint, so I decided to add that. Um, to go underneath my little collage assemblage thing and I glued it on there with some gel matte medium and I'm going to add this little sticker um, it's a deck the halls with boughs of holly um, it's from again a Tim Holtz Christmas collection and I had um, decided that I didn't think that this uh, assemblage was going to stay just with the glue, so I decided to go ahead and just staple it, because why not? There's already safety pins. What's wrong with staples? So now I'm going to take my Distress Oxide ink and my little holly stamp border and just add it to that white space there to kind of fill it up, and that'll be it. Uh, we have our little tag in our pocket in the front and our spread and I hope you enjoyed this and that you have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year!